want to salute the major prophet did the Isaac and his oh! and his powerful anointed beautiful wife let's celebrate the mama in the house God bless you amen amen you know the combination is very rare these two people are a dangerous combination it shows you how far they can go amen and I would like you to encourage them, support them, stand by them. Amen. Because you've not scratched what they are capable of accomplishing. It has just begun. Amen. The journey just started. Amen. The best is yet to come. Amen. And there is more from where it came from. Oh. Celebrate Didi Isaac and his wife with a clap oh. of God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. I came with dangerous men, naked wires, highly acidic and corrosive. Oh. Highly brutalious. Oh. Full of rudidity and rascality. Oh. <laughs> I have a son here in Johannesburg, in the person of Reverend Tony. We are happy to have you here tonight. Let's celebrate you with a clap. Oh. Thank you. Amen. I came also with Reverend Ini and his wife. They are doing great work in Kano. Kano is the heart of Islam in Nigeria. But they are commanding people in thousands in Kano. And uh, they came for holiday just to rest, to fire back. And they are here with me. Let's celebrate them with a clap. Oh. Amen. Thank you. Amen. And a dangerous prophet that uh, disappeared in my radar and I caught him in South Africa in the person of Prophet P uh, PPJ. I'm happy to have him. He's joining me tonight. Thank you. Amen. I had a tremendous revelation about you, Apostle Tabo. Listen to me. Something great is about to emerge from you. Oh. In the course of this meeting, I'll be opening you up to what God revealed to me about you. I want the church to know because you're about to explode like a nuclear warhead. Oh! Oh! And it's going to be great. My son, Sati, is a pastor in training. Let's celebrate him with a clap offering. Oh! And yourself, celebrate yourself with a clap offering. Oh! wherever you are. Say, Father, don't pass me by tonight. I need a touch. I need a touch. Fire me up. Fire me up. With your word. With your word. With your power. With your power. And with your grace. And with your grace. I need change of level now. I need change of level now. Clap your hand and pray that prayer. Back up. Backups, listen to me. That's who you are. 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 That's who, that's who, that's who. That's who you are. 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 That's who, that's who, that's who. That's who you are. That's who you are.
of people that will be transformed tonight. There is an apostolic grace that is coming on six people. There is financial apostolic mantle that is coming on 113 people. I don't know where you are. I saw the angel run and remove the suit of your pastor. And they put it on 17 people. I receive. And they say it's a prophetic anointing. I receive. The gates of the prophetic is open tonight. I receive it. The gates of the prophetic is open tonight. I receive it. Suddenly I see rain falling. I receive it. I see rain falling. I receive it. I see doors to nations open. I receive it. I don't know who you are. I receive it. The levels are about to change. I receive it. Levels are about to change. I Give the Lord, a clap and take your seat. Oh. Jacotes, Zembrondos Capriata Capas. First Peter, chapter five, chapter one, and verse five. First Peter, one, verse five. We, our generation is in their need of power. We have political power. We have economy power. We have the power in the wall of the academia. We have spiritual power. The spiritual power is the highest of all power. Because he that is from above is above all. Child of God, I discover that where there is power, there is nothing you cannot accomplish. There is nothing you cannot achieve. And there is no dream that cannot be realized. Am I talking to somebody here? And tonight I prophesy, if there is an expectation, if there is a desire, if there is a heartbeat, you are trusting God to bring to pass in your life. Tonight, receive the power to bring it to pass. Receive the power to bring it to pass. Somebody shout, I receive it. Take your seat. I would like to start by defining power. <laughs> Number one, power is the extra in the ordinary. It's the super in the natural. Bringing out intentions, expectations, and visions of the individual. Power is the extra in the ordinary. It's the super in the natural. Bringing out intentions visions and expectations of the individual where there is power intentions are carried out where there is power visions are realized where there is power expectations 
expectation cannot be thwarted. Expectation will always come to pass. And I prophesy to somebody, you are about to encounter a power higher than the one you used to know. I receive it. Whatever vision you are carrying, whatever it. expectation you have, I receive it. power shall bring it to pass. I receive it. Power shall bring it to pass. I receive it. Lift up your hands, shall power. Power. Can I prophesy? Where your life appear ordinary, oh. I release the extra. Oh. Where your life appear natural, I release the super. I receive it. In the mighty name of Jesus. I receive it. Shout, I receive it. I receive it. Take your seat. Please give me my feedback. Take it higher. Take it higher. Let me feel myself. Mm. Number two, what is power? Power. Is the superimposition of strange influence upon a man to change his position, his condition, his location, his situation. Power, I repeat, is the superimposition of a strange influence to change a position, a condition, a situation. A location in favor of the demonstrator. It's a strange influence. It is superimposed on a man. And when power comes, position changes. When power comes, you relocate from the backside of a city to the center of the city. Oh. When power comes, you move from a nameless area area that has no streets oh. to a strategic area oh. of town it is power that can relocate a man from a papanea to a millionaire from a nobody oh. to a somebody oh. from a non-entity oh. to a some entity oh. from a coincidence oh. to God's incident oh. from rejection oh. to projection oh. from shamification oh. to glorification oh. after tonight a professor I receive it. there shall be a shift I receive it. a shift I receive it. a shift I receive it. a shift I receive it a pastor tonight oh. you are moving from 200 members I receive it. to 2000 members I receive it. you are moving right now I receive it. from a millionaire in oh. lunch I receive it. to a billionaire in dollars I receive it. somebody say I change position, I change position. somebody is moving from trekking oh. to driving from driving to flying oh. can I professor I receive it by the time they look for you, oh. they will not find you where they left you. I receive it. Somebody is changing position. I receive Somebody it. is changing location. I receive Somebody it. is changing situation. I receive it. Lift your hand, shut fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. fire. Power. Take your seat. Power number three. What is power? <laughs> power is the invasion of immortality eternity infinity celestialism spiritualism is somebody hearing on time space and matter on time space and matter power is what the invasion or the expression of immortality divinity infinity Eternity, celestialism, spiritualism, on time, space, and matter. Hear me, child of God. When power arrives, time and space are relegated. Time and space are removed. Somebody shall power. Come, come. Come, sir. Jacoteba. Stand here. Stand here. Face this pulpit. Stand here. Stand here. Face this young man. Stand. This guy, this is his destiny. This guy, this is his destination. Maybe he's single, his destination is marriage. Maybe he's married, his destination is children. Maybe he's a businessman. His destination is to own companies and organizations. 
Maybe he's pa is a pastor. But his destination is to command thousands of people and own branches of churches. Whatever is your expectation, that is your destination. Amen. Between you and destination is time, space, and matter. You need time to get there. There is a gap between you and your desire. When power comes, space, matter, I relegated. There is a river. I professor. I professor. I receive it. I professor. I receive it. By power. I receive it. By power. I receive it. I relegate time. I receive it. I relegate space. I receive it. I relegate matter. I receive it. I command you arrive. I receive it. You will arrive. I receive it. You will arrive. I receive it. After tonight. I receive it. There shall be arrival. Without journey, I receive it. There shall be attainment. I receive it. Without steps, I receive it. There shall be ministry. I receive it. Without effort, I receive it. There will be marriage. I receive it. Without dating, I receive it. There will be money. I receive it. Without effort, I receive it. Am I talking to somebody here? There will be job. Without interview, I receive it. Somebody shall power. After tonight. Job without interview. I receive it. Get promotion without exams. I receive it. Let there be arrival without journey. I receive it. Somebody shall power. Power. Take your seat. Power is the expression of immortality. Anytime you are taught to the power of God. You move from the realm of mortality to the realm of immortality. Gosh. That is why for 30 years now, I've been preaching, I can never be sick. Oh. <laughs> because immortality is at work in my flesh. Amen. 15 years ago, poverty lost my address. Oh. Even if all the witches leave your village and attack me, oh. they can't make me poor. Oh. Because of immortality. Power. Somebody shall fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire. Take your seat. Take your seat. Take your seat. Look at somebody speak some tongues. Take your seat. Tonight I came to sponsor rebel with a cause. I came to make some people aggressive. I came to change some people's walking step. After tonight. You will walk braggadociously. I receive it. Then get shortly. I receive it. Because the earth is the Lord's. And the fullness thereof. Somebody shall fire. Take your seat. Is the expression of immortality. A realm where you are not subject to corruption. That the things that swallow people can swallow you. Where Ebola cannot stay on your flesh. Where HIV cannot stay in your blood. Because you are carrying the incorruptible seed. That tireless seed. That seed is what transforms us. Oh. From the realm of mortality. Oh. To the realm of immortality. Amen. Take your seat. It's the expression of celestialism. There are two realms. The realm of the terrestrial and the realm of the celestial. We dwell in two realms. The terrestrial and the celestial. When the terrestrial fails, cross to the celestial. From that realm, begin to control things. For he called those things that be not as though they were. By celestial manifestations, men like Philip, we are disappearing and appearing at me. Oh. 
Philip will be preaching, he will suddenly disappear. Appear in the wilderness of Damascus. He will lead the Ethiopia eunuch to Christ. Get him baptized. Disappear. Reappear on the altar. Oh. Somebody shout celestialism. Celestialism. Wow. Most of my members, when there is accident, they disappear. Oh. I receive it. I receive. I receive. I receive. I receive it. I don't know who I'm talking to. I receive it. Take your seat. I was preaching like this, and I was throwing handkerchief. Ah. A soldier grabbed it. Two weeks after, I was posted to Meduguri to fight Boko Haram. He got there. They gave him onward movement to Bama Mongonu area to go fight Boko Haram. Two hundred and 60 kilometers from Meduguri. Got there. Straight. They gave them an announce, an alert. A Boko Haram has invaded the village. And that 54 soldiers should move now. And arrest the situation because they, they are killing people in that village. So they asked them to move. They gave them 11 tanks. These men advanced. Not knowing that some Nigerian soldiers, generals, were Boko Haram. They had already informed Boko Haram that 54 soldiers were coming. And Boko Haram came over 800 of them in three fronts, forward, left, right. They opened fire with more than 100 tanks. They were opening it before, you know, 30 Nigerian soldiers We are down. Remain 24 of them. And they advised themselves, if we remain in the tank, we are going to die. So let's set the tank rolling and let us jump out of the tank. So they set the tank rolling and they jump out of the tank to see as many as they can pick we are with their night flashes. As they were trying to pick, another set came from behind. Over 500 of them. Before you know, 19 soldiers were down. Remain five of them. My member said when he knew that death was imminent, he remembered the mantle I threw. He carried it. Where is the God of Talena? <laughs> Guess what? He disappeared. He appeared in Meduguri barracks. With gun in his hands. Oh. That is a realm of celestialism. Where witches can't see you. Oh. They invoke you in the mirror of Sangoma. Oh. The mirror will catch fire. Oh, receive it. Am I talking to somebody oh, here? Yes. Somebody shall power. Wow. Tonight I declare. I receive it. Move from the realm of ordinariness. I receive it. To the realm of the supernatural. I receive it. Somebody shout, I receive power. I receive power. Shout it louder. I receive power. Shout it louder. I receive power. Take your seat. Time will fail me to tell you how people are disappearing anyhow. Higher killers. A young man in my follow-up was taken by rituals down to the bush. Before then, they went through all the ATM machines and withdraw all his money. Merely they took him to where to kill him. And his ID card failed. The man picked it. He said, what is this? He said, that is my church ID card. Who church? He called. Who is your pastor? Joshua Talina. Joshua, what? that one on TV, say yes. It's your pastor, say yes. He said, bring his money. Give him back all his money. Oh! Oh! He said, because if we touch this man, our business will spoil. Amen. Give him back his money. They gave him all the money. And they said, before we turn our eyes, disappear. Oh, Why? Because by the mentioning of my name, they knew I carry crude oil. Oh. Anyone that touched me, touch my son. Oh. <laughs> Am I talking to somebody here? Oh. Tonight, I prophesy. I receive it. By power, by fire. I receive it. You will humble devils. I receive it. You will humble witches. I receive it. You will humble native doctors. I receive it. Somebody shout, I receive fire. I receive fire. Take your seat, shout power. Power. Say power. Power. So, it's the expression of infinity, eternity, immortality, in, uh, uh, celestialism, on time, space, and matter. For the purpose of producing the unimaginable and the invincible. Am I talking to somebody here? And I came to announce to somebody. I receive it. Your level tonight is about to change. I receive it. You'll be operating from another frequency. 
I'll receive it. When the terrestrial fail you, you switch to the celestial realm. I'll receive it. From that realm, you will temper with your life. I'll receive it. With that realm, you will temper with conditions. I'll receive it. With that realm, you will temper with situation. I'll receive it. Somebody shall power. Power. Take your seat. Power. Number four is the vicin of the believer against the polio of shame. Power is the vicin of the believer against the polio of shame. Power is immunity. When you are immunized, the polio of shame that makes your life bended, look as if you are crippled. Look as if you lack mobility. The power that makes people to carry you where you need to carry others. The power that makes you a needy instead of be meeting need. When power arrives, it swallows every polio of shame. Number five, power is the wrong way of every aircraft of faith. Power is the wrong way of every aircraft of faith. Faith has not produced because it lacks power. Without power, faith is impotent. The Bible said by it, they subdue kingdoms. They wrought righteousness. We are violent in faith. Out of weakness, we are made strong. Women brought their dead back to life by the encounter of the power that gave potency to faith. Power is the driving license of all travelers on earth. Otherwise, the enemy will impound your destiny. If you lack driving license, police will impound your car. If you lack power, you will be harassed, victimized, ostracized, run down, manipulated. But when you carry power, you carry the right estimation of your destiny. Somebody shall power. Power. I don't like that. Somebody shall power. Power. A young man was going for crusade, a conference like this. Enter a bus. And you know in Nigeria that these big buses, they call Molue. Over 70, 60 people are in that bus. I don't know if you've got such one here in South Africa. And he entered. And uh, there's drug sellers, people who sell drugs, buses to bus. And this drug seller was selling. And the conductor, he's the one that collects the money. So he came, he was collecting money, came to the old man who was selling drugs. Say, your money. The old man said, take from others, then come back. He took from others, came back, say, your money. He said, you know the fear face? Meaning, don't, are you not afraid of face? Uh -huh. He said, what has your face got to do with my money? Money. Before you know, argument broke out. And the old man said to him, be careful how you talk to me. And he said, if I talk to you, what will you do? The old man said, I will make you regret why you are born. He said, try it. The old man lifted up his hand, spoke some demonic tongues. I do do, I do do. He looked at the conductor. He said, I command you, lick the dust. Before you say Jack Robinson, this conductor went on the ground and started licking the dust with his tongue. Everybody freezed in the bus. And then he looked at the conductor, the old man, said, looked at the driver, I said, driver, I said, sir. He said, turn this car, you will take me home. Otherwise, you will join conductor. Driver said, yes, sir. I'm taking you home. They said, that that's not our direction. He said, you must go. Because when you carry power, you determine the direction. Oh! Power! Am I talking to somebody? Oh, yes! <laughs> And guess what? <laughs> guess what? And the driver headed to the direction of the old man to take him home. A young believer stood up. He said, old man, return that young man back to normal. He said, who is that dog talking? He said, child of God is talking to you. Return the young man back to normal. He said, if you talk more than your power, you will join the young man. He said, old man, if there's anyone that will join, it's you. The old man lifted us, the man made some incantation. He said, I command you, leak before he could say the doors. The brother shouted, in the name of Jesus. Oh. Guess what happened? Guess what happened? The, the conductor stood up. The old man went on the ground and started licking the doors. Oh. Power has changed us. Oh, yes. I prophesy. I receive. Those that made you shed tears. I receive. Those that tormented your life I receive. and the life of your family. I receive. It is their turn to pay. I receive. It is their turn to pay. I receive. Mama, thus says the Lord. I receive. Those who made you shed tears oh. in your youthful age, oh. the people of your husband oh. who tormented you oh. after he left, thus says the Lord. Oh. They will pay. Oh. 
I will raise from your womb saviors, saviors, saviors from your womb. I see two saviors from your womb. I see two saviors. Pagans! Somebody shall power. Power! Take your seat. Something is happening. I feel some fire. I say I feel some fire. The old man started licking the doors. The brother had confidence. Because you see, power is a, it's an exciting destiny tool. When you have it, you are excited. When you serve God without power, you serve him with body. But where there is power, there is excitement. Because you can call those things that be not as though they were. And uh, the brother stood up and said, anybody here who refused to give his life to Christ, we join the old man. How many of you want to give your life to Christ? Eh? Oh. <laughs> Through the greatness of thy power <laughs> shall all thy enemies <laughs> submit themselves. <laughs> After tonight, I receive they it. will submit. I receive it. In your father's house, they will submit. I receive it. In your father's house, they will submit. I receive it. Lift up your hands. Say, they will submit. They will submit. Take your seat. Please make the voice better for me, especially my feedback. I like hearing myself. Are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? Everybody gave their life to Christ. He said, driver, he said, sir, turn the bus to crusade ground. Driver said, yes, sir. Since I am the one that has the power, I determine the direction. They got to crusade, they got to conference ground. They pull out the old man. He was still licking the doors. They held him by the waist belt. And pastor was preaching. He saw a man licking the doors. He said, what is that? He said, Papa, it's your son. This man tried power. I called the name only once. He's licking the doors. He said, bring him here. He was licking the doors of the altar. And pastor said, how many of you know our God is a merciful God? And they say, yes. He hit the old man twice. Bam, bam. Be restored. He stood there and said, where am I? He said, you are in the church. You try power. That is why you are here. Raise your hand and be born again. And he gave his life to Christ. Your family will not believe your gospel. Until you carry power. Lift up your hand, shout power. power. Shout it louder. Somebody shout power. power. Take your seat. When a man of God lack power, they will molest you. I prophesied on a young man, man of God. I said, you stand up. Your name is David. He said, yes. I say you are 13 in your family. Say yes. I said, your father is in 11 cults. Your father is a chairman of the Goni fraternity in Kano State. That's what I said to him. And I said, your father used all the 13 of you, your stars, to shine. I said, young man, your father has given you money. The least he gave you is 5 million to start business. More than five times. And after three months, you, don't, you can't see the money. He said, yes, sir. I said, see me after the service. 